Hi, this is Gary Rubenstein, and this is part two in a series of uh, lectures about how to solve cubic and quartic equations using uh, Cardano and Ferrari's uh, formulas published in 1545. Uh, we're moving into cubic equations. Last tutorial, I showed you how to do quadratic equations and also certain six-degree equations if they happen to have a sixth degree, a third degree, and a constant term. Uh, we're going to look at our first cubic equation, which uh, is this one. x cubed equals 6x plus 9. Now, this type of cubic equation is known as a uh, depressed cubic equation because there is no x squared term. But um, it's not easy to do these. Uh, this particular example you could solve by trial and error and see that the answer is actually uh, 3, or at least one of the answers is 3. Uh, 3 cubed is 27. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 9 is also 27. But I'm going to show you uh, an insight. And I learned this from... Uh, Euler's algebra textbook of how to um, convert a depressed cubic equation into a um, easily solvable sixth degree equation. Anyway, here's here, here's the insight. If x was split up into two things, a plus b, then x cubed would be a plus b cubed. But by binomial expansion, a plus b cubed is a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And now here comes the great insight. I'm going to rearrange these four terms as 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus a cubed plus b cubed. This doesn't look like anything special. And here it comes. We can factor out a 3ab from these first two terms. leave the second two terms alone and it still might not be clear but here is major insight a plus b originally was x so i can write this as x cubed equals 3a b x plus a cubed plus b cubed notice how similar this bottom equation looks to something like the original equation where we have x cubed equals something x plus something. Same thing here. x cubed equals something x plus something. So the trick is to equate the coefficient of the, con of the uh, x term with 3ab and to equate the constant with a cubed plus b cubed. Now for this example, so for uh, for this example, I'm going to create a series of two equations. One is going to be that 3ab is equal to 6, and the other equation is going to be that a cubed plus b cubed equals 9. If I can solve the system of equations for a and b, I can add a and b together to get x and hopefully uh, that will become 3 which is the answer to this question. Now solving an equation like this is not too difficult because you can use the substitution method. Now to use substitution I'm going to have to first solve I'll solve for, I'll solve for um, a in terms of b. So if I divide both sides of this equation by b over 3 I get 6 over 3b 
which reduces to 2 over b. Now when I plug 2 over b in for a, I get this, which becomes 8 over b cubed plus b cubed equals 9. Then I can multiply this entire equation through by b cubed. I will get this which I can rearrange to b to the 6 minus 9 b to the 3rd plus 8 equals 0. Uh, this 6th degree happens to factor into b cubed minus 1 and b cubed minus 8, which will lead us to uh, one answer for b is that b equals 1. If we plug that one back into this, this equation over here, I would get a equals 2, and a plus b equals 3, which is the value of x, and that does work. Now this one we got a little bit lucky because it factored. Let's look at another question. Okay, this next question is the depressed cubic x cubed equals 6x plus 40. Now by trial and error you might see that 4 is the answer to this question. 4 cubed is 64. 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 40 is also 64. But let's see what happens if we use this process. The process says to create the pair of equations 3ab equals the coefficient of the x which is 6 and a cubed plus b cubed equals 40. Uh, solve for a in terms of b will uh, again end up with uh, 2 over b. Plug that into this equation you will get uh, 2 over b cubed plus b cubed equals 40. Uh, you'll ultimately end up with 8 over b cubed plus b cubed equals 40. Oops. Equals 40. Multiply everything through by b cubed. Get 8 plus b to the 6 equals 40b cubed. Move everything over to one side. Now this one does not factor. So we could either use completing the square or I could use the quadratic formula to get b to the third equals 40 plus or minus the square root um, b squared minus 4ac in this case is 1,568 over 2. Uh, this simplifies to 20 plus or minus the square root of 392. Now Uh, now if I take the cube root of both sides, I get b equals the cube root of 20 plus the square root of 392. It turns out that if I plug that in to the, uh, one of the other equations to solve for a, a actually ends up being the other answer, which is 20 minus the cube root of 392. And I get the very ugly answer of x equals cube root of 20 plus the square root of 392 plus the cube root of 20 minus the square root of 392. But before I said the answer was 4, well it turns out that this thing does equal 4 if you run it through the calculator. And actually the cube root of 20 plus the square root of 392 is 2 plus the square root of 2 and this other one is 2 minus the square root of 2.